In an age when toys are becoming so technically advanced, they're often triumphs of engineering more than playthings, it's refreshing to cast our minds back to the days when toys were simpler, perhaps, but had a charm that has seldom since been recaptured. Turn back the clock 50 years and we find this perky dancing man. At the turn of the century, this was the latest thing in lead toys. Life was obviously a lot more leisurely in those days. The exhibits are part of a collection from the historic Toy Museum, housed at present at Rottingdean in Sussex. This Victorian game would still be popular today. One of the aims of the museum committee is to preserve some of the treasures from our childhood heritage, although many of the exhibits come from abroad. This, for example, comes from Sweden. While from the Russia of 1870 came this hair-raising novelty. Although we think of automation as something acquired in the 20th century, primitive forms of it, as you can see, were operating long before the phrase was coined. In contrast is the miniature tool set made by Lewis Carroll, the author of Alice in Wonderland, for his sister. Finally, something which Charles Dickens calls the Sunday toy because it was only brought out on special days, a Noah's Ark. Simple perhaps, but timeless in its appeal. 